This episode was made in partnership with the Kavli Prize. The Kavli Prize honors scientists for breakthroughs in astrophysics, nanoscience, and neuroscience, transforming our understanding of the big, the small, and the complex. In 2002, a scientist named Connie Ertz was about to make a breakthrough. She just didn't know it yet. She was on Christmas break with family doing some light reading, if you consider over 20 years of data from one of Chile's La Silla telescopes light reading. Ertz struck gold by focusing on one star, elegantly named HD 129929. She saw that the light from this star was getting dimmer, then brighter, in a regular pattern. The star was wobbling, but not in a way scientists had observed before. Ertz was about to become one of the first researchers to study a new kind of physics in stars. And today, she's one of the world's experts in astroseismology and a winner of the 2022 Kavli Prize in Astrophysics. Ertz was born to a working class family in Northern Belgium and her childhood in the countryside gave her plenty of chances to stargaze, but not the easiest route to academia. There weren't many opportunities to talk science or college admissions. Still, some of her teachers saw her potential and helped her become the first in her family to go to university. She studied math at Antwerp University, then followed followed her passion to a PhD in astrophysics at KU Leuven. There, she studied how stars evolve over time and what they look like on the inside. Most stars are so far away, we can barely see their outsides. So how can we possibly see what's going on inside them? That's where astroseismology comes in. It involves figuring out what's going on inside stars by looking at how waves and oscillations travel through them. As giant balls of constantly churning plasma, stars are incredibly dynamic places. Waves of pressure called acoustic modes bounce around inside them, making material like hydrogen and helium slosh to and fro. It's like making waves on the universe's biggest guitar string, and it can cause an entire star to wobble just a little bit in a literal starquake. That can lead to tiny flickers in the star's brightness that happen at a fixed rate. For example, it might go from bright to dim to bright again every thousand seconds. And researchers can use that flickering pattern to figure out what a star's insides probably look like. For instance, pressure waves bounce around differently in hydrogen plasma than they do in helium plasma. So how a star flickers will depend, at least in part, on how much of each element it has. But back to Professor Ertz. She became involved in astroseismology during her PhD in the late 1980s. And in 2002, after getting a faculty position at KU Leuven, she made her first big breakthrough. While on that fateful Christmas break, she noticed tiny, complex, and unusual flickers in the starlight from HD 129929. The flickers were at a lower frequency than you'd expect from acoustic modes in stars like the sun, and only half of them seemed to be caused by the usual stellar material sloshing around. It was a different physical effect, but what? The clue was that the star is about 10 times as massive as our sun. It's so massive that the material inside the star could be pulled inwards by the star's immense gravity. Then that material would be pushed outward by radiation expelled from the star's core and make the whole star ripple. By 2002, there had already been lots of research into the sun's interior where we'd seen those acoustic pressure waves. But Professor Ertz became one of the earliest scientists to find these hypothetical gravity-based waves. And that was just the beginning. A few years later, the big data era of asteroseismology began. Multiple space missions had launched that could detect these tiny ripples in starlight more easily, including NASA's Kepler probe. Ertz and her team went from studying a handful of stars to supervising scans of hundreds of flickering stars found by Kepler. Overall, she's been a major player in asteroseismology. In fact, in 2010, she literally co-wrote the textbook on it. These days, her research mainly focuses on stellar evolution, working out how stars change over over their lifetimes. For instance, the amount of helium in a star's core changes throughout its life. And one way you can measure how much helium is in a star is by studying star quakes, how the material inside that star is churning. So scientists can calculate how much helium they think should be in a star's core based on their models and then compare that to what the real world wobbling says. If those numbers are different, it means astrophysicists need to update and improve their models of how stars evolve. And sure enough, Ertz found that those models need tweaking. They weren't predicting the right internal rotation rates or the right amount of mixing of elements near a star's core. So Connie Ertz began her life looking up at the sky and the countryside, and now she spent decades understanding the inner workings of stars thousands of light years away. Her career hasn't just been limited to research either. Professor Ertz is also a major contributor to several European Space Agency missions. She's won several major awards, like the 2022 Kavli Prize, and she's supervised over a hundred master's, PhD, and postdoc researchers. Many of her 
her former students have gone on to great careers in science themselves. After all, Professor Ertz knows a thing or two about finding hidden potential deep within. This video was made in appreciation of Ertz's work and in partnership with the Kavli Prize to highlight one of the laureates of the 2022 Kavli Prize in astrophysics. The Kavli Prize honors scientists like Ertz for breakthroughs in astrophysics, nanoscience, and neuroscience, transforming our understanding of the big, the small, and the complex. This year, we're partnering with the Kavli Prize to show off the awesome research done by winners of each of those Kavli Prizes. Now that you've seen the Astrophysics Award, you can check out the research that earned a 2022 Kavli Prize in neuroscience. Thanks for watching.